turn by Merrimack. Bogurski will win it. He can't keep the handle. Merrimack looks to attack. Looking for a little breakaway. Good through ball. Steinus with the breakthrough. Goal, Merrimack. Merrimack leads it one to nothing. You kind of see that one developing. They quick, quick outlet by Merrimack. Good through ball. Bedford defenders playing a little flat line there. A little straight of a line. Ball back and play. Bogurski will play it out to Cuomo. Knocked out of bounds. Quinones. Okay, Alex. Maybe we'll just stick with Alex. Alex Quinones looking for the direct kick. I'm guessing he's going to look to go far post, see if we can get ahead on it. Good ball. Who's there? Oh, he puts it himself. The equalizer. So we're all tied up now at one. Off the direct kick. I had half of it right. I thought he would go far post, but he didn't need any help from a teammate. So we're tied at one now. Alex open for a second, but Merrimack coach quickly lets us know. Rasby brings it out to around the 12. Good. Couldn't see who got a foot on it. I think it was Max. Didn't get enough, quite enough pop on that one. Good opportunity for Lurgio. Rasby with a cross. Keeper comes out. Oh, bad bounce off. Charlie's there. Puts it in. Left footed. Goal for Lurgio. Two to one Lions. That's what we were hoping for. At least us Bedford fans. See if we can get one early. Put the pressure. A well played ball really by the keeper. Just to bounce out of his, out of his grasp. Speaker was there with a the left footed putback. Two to one Lurgio. Unofficially just two minutes into the second half. Merrimack. There but a Merrimack player. Looks to play it out wide. Merrimack controls now. Through ball. Sateris comes out. Reynolds with a shield. Goal Merrimack. No, I think what do they call? Offsides? I think there's an offsides call. Uh, not sure. Did it go over? Maybe it went over because he's letting subs in. Must have went over the crossbar. We're set up down here at one end of the field. No goal, nonetheless, and that's what we care about. Merrimack with time to turn it out. Ball gets through. Iola looks to put it back in. Alex is there. Can you get a touch up over the head? There it is. Yes. Good ball. I knew it was a matter of time the way he came out. If we could just get the ball through there. Iola pops it up through. Alex got a foot on it. A one touch and then puts it in the corner. So it's 3-1 Lurgio now. Right around 15 and a half unofficially by my clock. So a two goal cushion. You got the Got the cross off, it was pushing in the back. It's gonna be a direct kick for Bedford. Slajewski looks like, <clears throat> excuse me, he's gonna come up and take it. Let's look for Michael Chen or Charlie Speaker to stay wide here, win this one. Joseph's also wide. Slajewski, nice ball. Speaker, nice header, there it is. Good ball by Ryan Slajewski. Charlie Speaker with the head, and it's quickly four to one. As I said, they'll, they'll do that in, in games. They just, once they get on a roll, the goals seem to come easy. And a goalie change will be made now by Merrimack. Four to one, Lurgio Lock. Kiefer looks to pull it back, switch directions. Good defense by Merrimack. No foul now, we're gonna get a delayed call. Merrimack direct kick. My assistant's back, my uh, my roster, <laughs> my human roster. 
Ball played back now. Not a good time to do that. Good. Nice trap by Delthauer. And goal for Bedford. Not sure why Merrimack would play that back at the time, and I think that's what their coach is asking as well. The goalie tried clearing it. Ryan was there, and I like what Ryan did. He didn't didn't get too excited and try to just put it back in. He deflect or he trapped, got a one touch. Nice easy shot. So it's five to one now. Very quickly, Lurgio. Merrimack throw in unofficially under a minute. Merrimack looking to make one last run. Ball out of bounds. Merrimack throw in. Slajewski, good clear out to Owens. Ryan's, as I said earlier, played a great game back there on defense. And had, a, had an assist as well. And that will do it. So it took a little while to get going, but the Lurgio Lions prevail five to one to go to 11 and 0 on the season. One more, they'll play Friday right here at Preston Field against the winner of the Timberlane Londonderry game. We will not know <laughs> who will win that one. We won't get word till probably tomorrow or Friday, but we'll take a time out and we'll be back to wrap it up here from Bedford. All right, welcome back here to Preston Field. Lurgio Lions pulled out five to one. We're joined now by Coach Demers. Coach, nice job today. Thank you. You had to be a little concerned in the first half. Uh, not something that we've seen much this year. There was a couple games that we had some competitive games in the first half, but uh, I thought you can give me your take, but I thought Merrimack did a good job. It looked like they were trying to double team the ball, not allowing Bedford to turn and uh, get off the short passes that we're used to seeing. Yeah, I was uh, drastically concerned in the first half. Um, I felt that we had come out a little overconfident, um, which I was worried about all season because we did uh, had a pretty uncompetitive season, I feel like. Um, so I was worried about the guys going in and not giving it their all. They were in for quite the rude awakening when we finished one and one in the first half. Um, and I was glad they were able to pull, pull it together for the second. Yeah, that's one thing. You, you, and uh, I know I did a couple of high school games. And that's one thing uh, that I said is soccer is one of the few games where the best team doesn't always win because there could be so many weird bounces and stuff. So that's why we were saying uh, earlier about getting that two, three goal cushion. And, um, and that's what I've seen this team, obviously, a lot this year. And one thing I said is when they start scoring, they do score in spurts. And uh, they came out early in the second half. Um, we got the direct kick to go up two to one. And then, um, or yeah, no, that was the one that tied it. Sorry, Alex got the direct kick to tie it one to one. And then we got the um, the ball. That, I thought the keeper played played it well. And then, but Charlie was there to do what he was supposed to do. Anytime it was dropped, he was there to, to you know, put it in the back of the net. And then things just started flowing good. And that's what I've seen with this team. You know, the, we've seen the 12 goals and stuff, but even in the other games. Uh, they seem to start off maybe a little slow, but then when they do score, they come in spurts. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, we spent a lot of time talking at half actually about the keeper uh, and how the keeper was spending a lot of time coming out of goal. And every time he'd come out of goal, he'd bobble the ball just a little bit. Um, and I had said to the guys, you know, we need to capitalize on that. So you need to be on him when he's going to get the ball. You need to make sure that we're on the ball when, he, when he's coming out and just taking a shot. Uh, and I, I think they really adjusted well to the weaknesses that we saw in the first half. Um, and I think that's why they were able to pull out the win. Yeah, that's what we, I said as well. The goalie was coming out so far too, and you know, just a little touch. If we could get a touch on it, get a buy, and then we're we're open with the goal. So it's going to be either Timberlane or Londonderry. You've played them both. We yes. played them Londonderry way back in week one. I remember that, and I uh, played Timberlane as recent as last week. Obviously, you're just happy to be there, so you probably don't have a preference. But oh, I do. <laughs> I do. I hope it's Timberlane. Uh, London Dairy, we've just had a history of losing it against them in the, in the playoffs, and I just would like to have Timberlane as our competitors this year. It'd be nice, nice and, change. Yeah, and uh, you know the Timberlane games I've saw, they're a pretty skilled team, and they're a, a little bit more physical team too. And I think that's something that, with the skilled players that you have, could throw you off. But um, 
We'll play whoever. We'll be here Friday, and whoever gets off the bus will be ready to play. So thank you again for joining us. Good <laughs> luck Friday. We'll be here bringing you all the action, and uh, let's hopefully we can bring home the championship. Great. Thank you. Hopefully we can. Thank you.